CIA issues warning to Americans about what North Korea is just days from doing to U.S. There is no doubt that there are plenty of groups around the world that are actively plotting to take America over. That has been demonstrated over the past several years as our borders have been flooded with illegal criminal immigrants and Muslim refugees with ties to terrorist groups. While those in itself are terrifying the looming threat of potential war with North Korea is equally frightening. And, now those fears may be realized after what the CIA just discovered and has issued this chilling warning to all Americans. Over the last several months, tensions between North Korea and the United States have been mounting. The tyrannical dictator Kim Jong-un has been threatening the United States with his continual missile tests and now North Korea has a new plan to take America down. It has been revealed that North Korea is planning on shutting our country down by using an AMP electromagnetic pulse explosion. The North Korean ICBM test on July 29th shows that North Korea now has the capability to hit the United States and not just parts of it. David Wright, senior scientist, Global Security Program, Union of Concerned Scientists to CNBC had this to say about the test. Looks like it pretty much can get to New York, Boston, and probably falls just short of Washington, D.C. If those numbers are correct, the missile flew on a standard trajectory, the missile would have a range of 10,400 kilometers, 6,500 miles, not taking into account the Earth's rotation. However, the rotation of the Earth increases the range of missiles fired eastward, depending on their direction. It is important to keep in mind that we do not know the mass of the payload the missile carried on this test. This now shows that the North Koreans definitely have the power to strike the United States anywhere. Dr. Peter V. Pry, formerly an analyst with the CIA, and now the head of the committee to assess AMP, electromagnetic pulse, threats against the United States has repeatedly told Congress that North Korea does indeed have the capabilities to release a warhead and an AMP attack. Here is more from Daily Mail, Dr. Peter Vincent Pry, executive director of the Task Force on National and Homeland Security in America, warned that North Korea is positioning its satellites in a nuclear missile age, cyber, age version of battleship diplomacy so that they can always have one of them, satellites, very close to being over the United States or over the United States. Pry, also chief of staff of the Congressional Imp Commission, told Breitbart Sarah Klein, then if a crisis comes up and if we decide to attack North Korea, Kim Jong-un can threaten our president and say, well, don't do that because we are going to burn your whole country down, which is basically what he said. I mean, he has made threats about turning the United States into ashes and he connected the satellite program to this in public statements to deter us from attacking. If you wanted to win a new Korean war, one of the things you would certainly consider doing is taking out the United States homeland itself, Pry suggested Pyongyang may be taking its inspiration from a plan the USSR drew up to attack America with an AMP during the Cold War. The threat of an AMP attack is very different than anything we have seen before. If North Korea were to use an AMP it would deliver a stunning blow that would bring the country to its knees. They would easily be able to invade us since our defense system would be down and so would all communications. According to Gatastone Institute, the threat to the United States from an electromagnetic pulse, AMP, attack, the high, altitude detonation of a nuclear weapon over the United States, is so potentially catastrophic that both the 2004 and 2008 reports of the Congressional Imp Commission said so openly, probably in the hope that the public warning would spur the nation and the Department of Defense to action, one, even an imp attack from a single 10 kiloton nuclear weapon, of the type now in North Korea's arsenal, could cause cascading failures which could black out the U.S. eastern grid for months or years, and devastate the civilian economy, an amp detonated at an altitude above 30-70 kilometers, could be delivered by a short-range missile fired off a freighter, hundreds of kilometers off U.S. shores. The result would be no communications, no transportation, no fuel, no food, and no water for a decade or more. That would be true for at least the entire eastern half of the United States, where most of the population lives. National Geographic has described it as an electronic Armageddon. There are many people that have said this could happen and have been preparing for it for years. While some people will fluff this off as simply a conspiracy theory at this point it does not seem too off the mark. And, while this is definitely frightening what makes it even more disturbing is that it should have never have happened in the first place. Barack Obama brought our military force down to pre-World War I capabilities while he was in office. While Obama was shrinking our military, Kim Jong-un was growing his, and who knows what exactly is in his arsenal. It is now the time that we listen and pay heed to the warnings since our lives depend on it.